Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. Trailer. Like that. And there'll be four large pallets that will turn up. So we could get the pallet forks and try and use that to load this trailer. Whether or not we can make that work, I don't really know. Could be an interesting little exercise for us. Yeah. And another one. So we've got three full pallets kicking around. And you. There's a fourth full pallet right there. The tomatoes, I don't think, will have any extra full pallets that will come off of them. Push that up a little bit like that. Let's see if I can drop one on the end. And right, and that's just because of the shape of the pallet that it's got to be dumped up into the air like that. Uh, let's put some straps on that lot. So we've got 1,200 liters of strawberries at the moment, and then I come along here a little bit. I leave the straps on at the moment. And I start picking up the tomatoes. Now there shouldn't be any extra tomatoes. This, this, it does look pretty terrible, us picking these up like this. It, it doesn't look very good the way they sit. But the new ones... It's really bad. The new ones will look a lot better. There we go. Because the the pallets will actually be full pallets, and we can sort of put them up on there. Um, so yeah, I still not completely sure if I'm going to. How am I going? You know what? We're just gonna have to chuck these on any old owl. Maybe not quite like that, but this is this is really not very helpful, is it? Look, look, look at this. Okay, now they've all fallen off the other side. Let's strap that one on like that, and then... Like that. Auto-load pallet would... Auto-load trailer would make this a lot easier. Oops. Uh, the way I'm throwing these tomatoes around, I don't think they're going to be fit for human consumption by the time we're finished. That one can go up there. Perfect. There's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Look at that. That's, that's <laughs> this is the worst stacked pallet ever. The worst stacked pallet trailer. Oh, it's it's holding. It's holding. It's holding. It's holding. This, uh... <laughs> this is the single worst stacked trailer ever. Get up onto the tray. There we go. Right. That one. Excellent. That that's held in place on there. I want to get another one over this side. Oh, it's it's kind of holding. Let's do this really quick with the straps. Like that. And that one as well. And then this one all the way down here. There. Perfect. And you. Right, I got one more. One more pallet that I've got to get onto this tray. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... No! Come back! I wanted to put it up onto the top and... That's just... <laughs> That is the single worst loaded pallet ever. The worst loaded pallet, worst loaded trailer. Oh, there goes the tomatoes again. These tomatoes, if they're not bruised, I think that we're on something here. I think we're on to a bit of a winner. Like, we, we can go to the restaurant and we can say, our tomatoes are so good, they cannot be bruised. Yeah? I think that's a selling point. I really do. I think that is a prime selling point for our tomatoes here. And that 
one right there. This is fantastic. There we have unbruisable tomatoes. What a load. That is absolutely spot on perfect. I think that is something that we can be proud of. Right, now all i got to do is get it down to the supermarket. So we'll jump up onto here. Let's see what we can do with this. I don't know whether we go to that road there and head down there. That would be the better idea, actually. That, that would be the more sensible option. Especially with it loaded up like this, rather than trying to run down our field. So we'll drive down this way. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, that is absolutely awful. I started off so well. I did. I started off really well at the bottom. But things kind of deteriorated once we got to layer number two. And now we have something that will be spoken about in hushed tones by the elders for many years to come. Children now will see this drive past and when they are old and sitting by their fire... They will tell their grandchildren of the time they saw this load go past. It won't be a happy memory. It will be a shocked, terrible memory. Something they hope never to see again. It's also something that put them off the tomatoes. Because, you know, if these tomatoes haven't been bruised, there's something seriously wrong with them. That's what I think. This is why I want an auto-load trailer. You know, an auto-load one would just stack the pallets automatically onto the trailer without having all of this kerfuffle. But what I was thinking is... We have got the front loader and we've got the pallet forks. And that's what I've said previously in any of the series. If I'm going to use an auto-load trailer, I do at least have to have the means to move the item manually or you know like with a front loader or something like that um before i can start using an auto load so i have fulfilled that particular little uh, requirement but what i was thinking is maybe i would move the pallets from in front of the greenhouses and put them to a holding area do the same with the wool on the sheep and then use the auto load trailer to pick them up from the holding area so that they load evenly on the trailer and then we use that to carry them off down here into town to sell the items that we're going to be selling. So I might do something like that. I feel that that could be a happy compromise so that some of you, you, you know, I will be doing some loader work with it, which I know that some of you would actually like me to do. And I'm also not going to end up with something like this, although it probably wouldn't be quite this bad. But once you done some loading of machinery of, of pallets and stuff like it starts to get a bit tedious after a while so we're not going to want to spend hours and hours just watching that um i don't think anybody's going to be spending hours watching that so we we won't aim to do too much of it now i gotta get this onto the sell point there for the supermarket so we're gonna need to drive around Go in the no entry sign, but we're we're delivering, so we're allowed to do that. No entry signs for customers, not for the delivery drivers. The delivery drivers have special rules. It's just the way it is. Accept it and move on. It'd be a lot easier if we could just drive straight through, but we can't. So we're going to do it like this. So that one will go up there. Now I've got to. Try and reverse this trailer. And this type of trailer, I'm really not very good at reversing. Although, it must be said, I am getting better. I'm a lot better at this than I used to be. We're down to 1,144. The wages. Oh! Oh no! The pallet's unloading. thought for a minute maybe it wouldn't unload but it is unloading uh, so what we'll do is we will undo the straps and then we'll drop it all down like that so that they're still selling so it's 485 euros for some sold stuff and there's one pallet left there that hasn't sold 
bring that one over there. The advantage of having the auto load pallet and bringing that one down is, why is that not selling? Right, another 45. I don't remember what that was all told, but I'm uh, thinking uh, we had, what, well, it was about 600, 650 euros for that little lot. And it was only small part pallets, so like we weren't going to be making a vast fortune, but we're back up to 1,780 euros right now. And... There's a couple of different jobs that we could go and take. I'm actually thinking that maybe we should take one of those baling jobs. The seed job at the moment, that planting job, I don't think we should take it because we can't afford to go and buy the seed. It's like 900 euros per thousand liters of seed and I suspect that we'll end up needing about 5,000 liters of seed to plant field 14. So there's chunk of money that could come in but I don't think we've got the money to spend out on that one the bailing job if we were to go and take the bailing job first we could do that one I could earn us a little bit of money I mean the other option is that we don't take any of those jobs we don't take any of them and we focus instead on working on our own farm we could make a bit more hay soon. Actually, it's going to be too late to make hay. I do have a mod now that allows the grass to be cut at any time. So I could go and cut the grass again. I mean, technically, we've got a large area of land here. I could cut the grass over all of it. But to be honest, I think that would be incredibly dull viewing. If I was to cut all of his grass all the way down through here, I think that's something that all of us would find it tedious so I don't think we'll do that we've kind of got to we, we got to achieve balance in, in all things here still unsure as to where exactly I'm going to put the new track that I'm going to do up here we, 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 struggle, we can struggle on up the hill this way get up to this bit it's a little bit steeper there and then we sort of come across like that and then the lane would come around here. I've already done this a few times but I'm just doing it again to confirm for me. Over there and then the last little bit up through there. That would work. I think that could work quite well. Right. Nice little trip right there. So we, we've got a few strawberries down there at the greenhouse that we could do something with. We could load those onto that one there. I've got four pallets of strawberries, I believe. So if I was to go and get the four pallets of strawberries and I was to take them to the supermarket, I would get there, there's 2,000. So we'd end up with about 1,000 euros from those strawberries. Not a huge amount, is it? Now... If I want to buy seed, and have a look in here, big bags of seed, that's 800 euros a bag. I can buy two bags worth. That's not going to be enough to plant the whole of field 14. Field 14, the contract for field 14, for the planting, this one here is to sow it with wheat. And the wheat, the volume of the seed used is a fair bit. So I suspect that we would need five or six bags of seed. And then there'd be the wages and other bits, but that's minor details. So we I don't think we can afford that one yet. We've got field 24 baling. Wrap, make silage bales, take to the biogas plant. Field 24 is here, and we run them literally to there. So we're not having to take those bales very far. That, I, I quite like that idea. That, that one's quite a good contract, I should think. Uh, field 1, take these bales to the animal dealer. So this is equally good. Um, silage bales, and so they're both silage bales. Field 1 up there goes to the animal dealer here. And field 24 would go to the biogas plant over here. 
Field 24 would probably be the better option because we're close to the dealership here and we just got to drive across the bridge and then up here to this field and then we can go and do that. So I think maybe we'll go with that. And we can also use our own trailer. We could put in some contract work going. We, we can have a hired help doing some work and then we could get our own tractor and we could drive down and we could also do some work in that field with our own tractor and that would kind of like speed things along a little bit. I think we will do this. I think we, 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 I think we'll go with it. So let's have a look. It's field 24, the 13,000. I do want to borrow the items. I only reduce it by 833. This, this contract actually could end up being a nicely lucrative little number. So let's go first up and see the new tractor. We've got the Case Magnum. Bring that one back this way and we'll load on that one now it's silage that we're going to be making we've got a nice big crone rake there the, the time consuming bit for this is going to be uh the wrapping the wrapping is the bit that takes the time now this mower has a swather on it which means that we don't even need to do raking. We can just mow and go straight into baling. We can skip the raking part altogether. I like that idea. I like that idea rather a lot. Now then, let's get across the bridge here. Once we've done that, we can head up the road. Which way do we want to go? Well, there's the land that we used to own. That's all the land that we used to own. We did a lot of work up there. Things have changed now, though. We don't own that anymore. We went away on holiday and we came back and it's it's all been changed. It's not like it was back in, uh, back in our youth. Back, back in the old days. I was going to say I remember when all this was green fields, but um, it wasn't green fields when we had it. It was fields of potatoes which mostly was brown fields now it's all green fields i remember when all this was brown fields and looked like industrial wasteland and then someone else got hold of it and now it's all green fields Not sure if this is a good thing or a bad thing probably a good thing we had all that we did all that work up through here we took out a whole load of the trees we had tracks running around the land we did a lot of work on those fields. There was a lot involved with doing all the different things that we did in there. We have a look at this mower in a minute and we can see what it does. So it's got uh, unfold, lower. I'm hoping that this one does have the swapping option because then we don't need to worry about bringing in the, um, the rake. We can just do it like this. So we bring this one out like this and uh, let's turn off the beacons. We we'll unfold that one, unfold that front one. The front one, I don't need to do anything with it. And then I go to the back one. Now I got lower, fold, toggle work mode. Control Y. Oh, ah, there, right. Selected work mode, swath dropping. Left swath, right swath. Is that the bottom? Right swath, wide spreading, swath dropping. We're going to do swath dropping. I'll bring that one back here, like this. Start that up. Start that up as well. And now, if I go Control V, it should drop everything down together should also drop it down as a single swath like that fantastic now I want to go out as far as I possibly can to the edge of the field here so that we get as much grass as possible which will result in us getting more money why did that pick up so fast on the back Tool 
people has reserved the contract work, so it shouldn't be allowing the front one to do it. It's picking them both up together, which is a bit unusual. It doesn't normally do that. And it also doesn't normally drop the back one first. It normally drops the front one first. I don't know what that's about. So I'll take this out as far as I can around the edges to get as much as possible. We'll do twice round and then I think I'll put the hired help going. We'll go and get our tractor and hitch the baler on and bring the baler up here. And then we can start baling straight behind this one. And then we've got the wrapping to go with. So we don't need to bring a rake up and do that bit. We can avoid that. So there's one step that we don't need to do, which is really good. I, I like that because it's going to save us some time and therefore some money as well. Time and money is always good if we can save it. So I'm coming right out here like this. There's a couple of mowers worth of extra crop that we're picking up here. Is good, that's what we want. Now, how am I going to do this? This is reserved. I'm going to leave it down on the ground. No, you shouldn't really. I'm going to bring it in over there like that. It's a bit of a mess up this end. That's fine. Don't stray too far out onto that lane there, but just keep the edge of the mower just on the edge of this grass here. It should allow me to mow all of it. So that's extra bales, which is extra money. Because you have the contract and you fulfill that one and then you get the extra bales afterwards that you can sell as well. At least I think that we'll still be able to do that. I haven't done a baling contract in this version of the game, so I don't know how that's going to work. It'd be interesting to find out whether or not we've got to save the bales until afterwards, or just the extra bales automatically just throw extra money into the kitty. It could be either. I'm going to do another round on the field. Like this. We go right the way around and then I'll put the hired help going to finish it off. Go down there like that. Bring you up here. It's very strange that the back mowers are going down first. They don't normally when you use control V. Control V should pick up the both sets of mowers, but normally it picks up the front set of mowers. The, the front mower and then a slight delay and then it will do the back ones so if you if you hit control V just as the front mower goes across the end of the grass on the end of the row it will then pick that one up and you go forward a bit and, and as you continue traveling forward then the back mower will pick up to sort of finish up the last of it but it's not doing it this time a little bit strange don't know why it's not doing it but that's just the way it is so that's what we'll have to live with It's a bit rough, this field, isn't it? You see how much it's bouncing around? It's a bit more than I was expecting. There, see, it's picked up the back ones first. Very peculiar. Very, very peculiar. So if I drop that down there, go on a little bit, uh, press H now. Hopefully that hired help will be able to go on and do the rest of this field without too much trouble. But I mean, that does actually look quite cool, that one running up and down there. That's, that's quite a cool little thing to go and see. That's just coming to the end of the row. Just going to make sure that he does turn around properly and he's got no issues there. That was a little bit, we got missed by the mower last time around. I can see a little bit to the right hand side there. And round you go. Are you going to be able to cope with this? Uh, 
looks like it actually. Back to there. Front mower down. On a little bit. Back mowers down. Off you go again. All right, that one's doing just fine. So then we can go and check over here. And we're about a third of the way through the fields, which is not too bad. I don't know how much we've spent in wages, probably six, seven hundred, maybe a bit more than that even. But not excessive, not an excessive amount. I think this job will give us some profit. I think we'll end up prof in profit on this job. That's good. And now I want you. So this trailer here. I'm actually going to take this trailer and I'm going to park it over in the field over here. We're going to stick it next to one of the heaps of bales. And then we'll come back up here later on and just load one of the heaps of bales up so that we can move it off the field. Because we are going to need to move all of these heaps of bales. So we'll just do them a few at a time. Take it slow. So I'll unhitch that one there, and then I'm going to drive down to the dealership and collect the baler. This tractor might not be able to run that class quadrant baler because that one does have a fair horsepower requirement, so we may not be able to do it. However, what we can at least do is use this one to transport the baler up to the field where we're doing the work, and then we can swap them over if we need to. So we come whizzing on down this hill. It's a good job we got decent brakes. It's a very good job we got decent brakes, because that's a steep old hill to go bombing down too fast, isn't it? There we go. Right. I think this tractor would be able to tow that baler. I'm guessing it would. I had a little bit of a lag spike there, so you probably will have had a little bit of a lag spike. If you're getting too much lag in these videos, do let me know. And I there, there is another workaround that I can do. Uh, some of you know that I've been having some issues with recording. If you're getting very much lag in the video, let me know in the comment section. So get, get in the comment section and tell me if there's any issues with it. And I'll see what I can do to make any changes. But there is a workaround. It's just the it's a difficult workaround. And um, it's basically a more workaround than what I'm doing at the moment. So, um, yeah. I'll do it if I need to, but I prefer not to. It's, it's basically what I'm saying is... If it does need to be done, I will do it. I've, I've got no problems with that. I will do whatever needs to be done to make the video quality the best it can be. Um, I'm just kind of hoping that the method I'm using at the moment is going to create the decent quality that I want. Why am I going up? Oh. I missed the turning. Should have been the last turning. I, where I went on that roundabout, I should have gone straight across, I think. Oh well, it's too late now. Right. Class Quadrant Baylor. Right in there. Look at that beastie. Monster. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.